Hey, good morning guys. It's Nelson with Fish Another Day. So today I'm out here because I actually need to catch a crab for my dogs. Uh, what am I making? I'll show you guys later. I gotta catch a crab first. So hopefully I'll get something good, but man, it's, it's good to be out here right now. It's like seven in the morning right now. Let's see. Yeah, about 7.30 in the morning right now. Lights barely up, so it's always nice. I love coming out early, so let's get started. I'm gonna get set up and then we'll hopefully catch some crab. All right, let's go. One more thing, actually. I only need one crab to do what I wanna do, but uh, honestly, I wanna get at least two or four or five. But uh, yeah, I, oh man. At least one, I gotta do it for the dogs because it's actually their birthday tomorrow. So usually every year I'll make a little birthday cake for them. Uh, not traditional kind of birthday cake, but um, you'll see. All right. Shout out to Dan, who uh, I met on Facebook. He was, uh, he wouldn't be able to use these uh, this season. So he actually posted these up, said he couldn't use them. So I dropped by and uh, picked them up. So Dan, thank you very much for uh, putting these herring out for me. So I'm gonna make good use of them and hopefully catch a crab today. Thanks, man. All right, this guy's been soaking for about 10 minutes now. Let's give it a go. Just kind of pulling lightly to see if there's any weight on it. Don't really feel too much yet. Well, let's give it a go anyways. Nah, it's light. Check on the bait though. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I had something on. <laughs> that is a Dungeness leg and it's actually, that's the bottom half of a leg and it looks actually kind of meaty too. So whatever was biting on this, I kind of wish I caught it because I would have been a good keeper. But that's the first pull today. All right, let's get back out there. Man, it sucks. All right, this one's only been soaking for about five minutes. But since I had action on both of the last two pulls, I'm gonna give this one a go. Oh, I think that there's something on there. Oh no, there's a wave coming. No, no, please don't let go. Please don't let go. Okay, I think I still got him, I still got him, I still got him. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm starting to break the water surface, which is not something I wanna do, because it gets a little choppy once you get above the water. So what I'm gonna do is slow it down, hopefully it stays slightly submerged. And what that does is it allows the water to create some drag, which puts pressure 
on the snare loop. And that keeps it shut. It's a Dungeness, but uh, not sure if it's keeper size. We'll see, we'll bring them up. All right, we're out of the water. Just gotta bring them over. All right. Ooh, barely snared. Ooh, it came off already. First dungy of the day, it's a female. Fairly certain it's short, but there she is. See how, like, how they have that nice kind of gradient? It's almost like a mossy green that fades up to a brownish and then it goes to a purple. So if you ever like catch any of these uh, younger ones, they seem to be kind of green for the most part. But um, yeah, these guys are delicious, or this, she's a female. So, and you can tell it's a female by this. This is the apron. The apron on female, much wider, kind of goes all the way across like that, like almost like a triangle, like a wide triangle. If it's a female, very narrow and tall. So I'm gonna measure them up and then, or measure her up and see uh, if she's a keeper. Um, it is legal to keep females in California if you are not, uh, if you're only doing this for recreation. However, it's kind of frowned upon. So if she's a keeper, I might, I might be tempted to keep her until I catch a male. But let's measure up. On the left over there, if you're gonna measure these guys, measure them without the lateral spine over here. So inside the lateral spine, measure, and we are definitely short here. Get this in some light, if I can, here we go. We're definitely short of the five and three quarters. So, yeah, probably short by about a, maybe, what is that, a quarter inch or so? But yeah, let's toss her back in. All right, see ya. Oh yeah, there's something on there. Wave coming, speed it up. All right, and slow it down after the wave passes. Definitely small. Feels heavy because I have an extra four ounce cannonball on this uh, on the snare. All right. What is that? My I think it's my third, third or fourth retrieve of the day, and uh, pulled up two dungeons, so that's promising. But this is a female, definitely small though. I mean, it's probably like four or five inches, maybe. So let's get her back in. Questionable, got some weight, little bit of resistance. Another female. This one might actually be a keeper. Doesn't have any eggs on her. So I don't have a single keeper right now. So this, I don't know, let's measure up. Yeah, we're definitely short there short probably by a half an inch. Ah, back in she goes. And pressure's on. Dog's birthday. Gotta make them something good. Ooh, boy. And I forgot to turn on my chest mount cam. Oh man, not gonna let him go. Uh, looks like a red, but you know what? If it's a keeper, I'm definitely gonna keep him. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding. <sighs> it's a brown, I think. Yeah, that's brown. I snared him good, I snared or her good. I mean, snared it across the entire carapace right there. Let's see. Missing a claw and small. <sighs> Just can't catch a break today. All right, let's throw her back in. Not really worth it when they're missing a claw, especially. 
and somewhat small and a female female brown rock crab it's been two hours now no keepers bunch of undersized females and I've got one hour left before I have to go ah. Keep going. Waiting for uh, my snares to soak right now, so might as well make good use of my time. Pick up some trash. All right, last pull on this rod. Last pull on this rod. <laughs> Nothing. There's actually a rock crab right here. You see those legs? I'm gonna try to get that guy out. Come on. Need this for my dog's birthday. Oh no, the legs went inside. I'm just gonna leave the bait right outside that hole. Let's see if he goes for it. Got him. Ta da! Definitely a keeper size. It's probably about five inch. <laughs> yeah. It's a male. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, yes. Oh yeah. Dogs are gonna have crab cake. Crab cake for birthday.
All right, so finally finished everything. Uh, I failed to get a Dungeness. They were all just kind of small females, uh, so no keepers. But I did get that brown rock crab from poke pulling because I always, I always know where to get them over there. So did get that, and then we did make crab cakes for them. Uh, I do this every single year for them, or I try to at least. So crab cakes, and um, every time I'm cooking it, uh, Domo's always just watching, like just begging for like droppings and whatnot. So they've been uh, begging a little bit, and um, yeah, I think it's time. Let's, uh, let's start eating, or they'll start eating. All right, let's go. Alright, so that is it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that as much as they did, um, but uh, you guys probably noticed I put the muscle inside of the crab cake. Uh, so if you guys don't, uh, if you guys haven't seen that video on how I made those dehydrated mussels for them as snacks, uh, I'll put the link above. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, I appreciate all the support I've had so far. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, please like and subscribe and also drop a comment. You know, what kind of dogs do you guys have and what kind of treats do you guys give them that's you know not quite the stores bought stuff i'm always curious all right so i will see you guys next time and don't forget you guys just gotta enjoy yourselves out there take it easy stay safe